um, NV Miracast. This is NVIDIA, which is actually disabled from starting up. I have a Sound Blaster sound card, which I even disabled. But somehow, NVIDIA was doing HD sound, or at least showing that it was, here in Resource Monitor. I removed the sound driver, and now I'm stuck with Miracast. Even though I removed pretty much everything Miracast from Microsoft, here it is. This is a threat. It's a vulnerability that no one is addressing because we trust these companies. Now, if you give me a second, I will show you. By the way, I'd like to point out the filter for this camera is actually my filter. I did not get credit for it. I do, did not get paid for it and I did not get asked if anybody could use it. Instead, they collected it from my computer in their data collection. So everything you create or I create becomes their product and nobody is stopping them. Now, do you see, I cannot disable this but here we have, I, I no longer, there it is, NVIDIA is disabled, NVIDIA is disabled. I have had to disable any and every service that has to do with internet connections and so on. I cannot stop it until June 30th. I was showing multiple remote sessions on my computer even though it has no internet connection at all. Yes. network connections folder is empty because I removed everything trying to protect myself but it does no good when the companies are using theftware that's what it is let's face it is theftware they're violating my right to privacy I can't create anything in my own home and expect it to be mine they are voiding my rights as the owner of the intellectual property. Through data collection, they have stripped my right to give consent who can and cannot use my work. That is theft, it's illegal, and nobody will stop them. They're not looking at what's going out. They're only looking at what's coming in. And that's the huge problem. Let's see, programs. Okay, do you see the programs I have installed? Not many. The majority of which were installed by Microsoft during the clean install on June 20th. I formatted this hard drive, wiping everything out, and performed a clean install. I waited three days before I installed any software. I downloaded them to my laptop and transferred through flash drive. I do not use any cloud services. I continue to watch them in my task manager and resource monitor. They have no business running. They can't be stopped. You have to go out of your way, take ownership of all of these things and delete them. And the only, there's one way to get rid of Cortana. You have to get rid of Bing. You can look in your web cache and you can see every file you open, every file you create, or even just opening a drive or saving something to a folder 
every single file in that folder is now in your web cache. And you have a Cami, a Cam, I can't pronounce it, technologies. <coughs> you have Microsoft, Amazon Nulls, NVIDIA, Google, and Facebook, just to name a few, that are uploading everything in your web cache for data collection. That means everything you open, you view, somebody's getting it. Everything you create, somebody's getting it. They're getting paid for it and voiding your rights that you have under law. But meanwhile, if somebody was doing this to them, they would be suing them or pressing charges on them. They would be calling them hackers. Why are we not holding these companies accountable for their theft? This is July 17th, it's 5.38 p.m. I just created this. Before you see it anywhere else, it's mine, along with the 90,000 other files that I created that are constantly being used on clothing and television and video games all over the internet. They're mine, and I never once consented to any company using them. I don't get one cent from them. They have an obligation to get my consent. Telling me you collect data without telling me what you're collecting is not getting my consent. So how is this even possible? I'd like answers and I would like somebody to fight for my rights.